you. I'm just kidding. Messing with y'all. But yeah, step two. See your vision. See your vision. Now, you see I've got that in parentheses. See your vision, right? Well, does anybody know why that is? Can anybody tell me why it says see your vision in that type of a manner? Anybody? No? No? Okay. Okay. So the reason I have it that way is, you know what, better yet, I'm just going to play the clip. You guys remember the avatar? Here, watch this. Okay. This is a very important part of it. Norm's attitude has improved lately. I see you, but it's not just I'm I'm seeing you in front of me. It's I see into you. I see. It's good he's back on board, but he thinks I'm a scoundrel too. So, here Norm was talking about the whole I see you in uh, with the Navi, Navi, Navi. Um, the I see you as I see into you. I see what you are about. I see who you are. That right there is how you need to be able to see your vision, your dream. You have to know what it's about. You got to know how to make it happen or how you're thinking about making it happen or what would it take to make that happen. Uh, but in order to do that, you have to clarify it in your own mind's eye. You got to be able to say, yo, bam, this is this, this is that, this is this, this is that. Right. We're going on the attack. Okay. You have to be able to do that. Um, so the first step I always suggest is coming up with a vision board. Now that might sound crazy to some of you and to some of you, it may not. A vision board is merely a physical depiction and representation of your dreams. And it doesn't have to be all extra frilly. Cause I know some of the guys are like, oh man, that's for girls and blah, blah, blah. No. Vision board doesn't have to be all extra frilly and have, you know, you have nights with everybody getting together. There's nothing wrong with that. Even as guys, there's nothing wrong with that. Sharing your dreams with each other because that gives you a group of individuals to work together towards something. Instead of tearing each other down, us guys need to be bringing us, pulling, us up, pulling ourselves together to pull ourselves up. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with getting in a room, having a drink or two, enjoying life, talking about your dreams, and then working towards them, not just talking about them. Okay. A lot of people are all talk right now. We're talking about five steps to leveling up your life. You can't talk in this process so far. You've got two steps. No one, nowhere near in here. Have I said talking? I've said nothing about talking yet and you won't see it the entire time. Okay. If you want to level up, it's, uh, it's going to take action, not talk. As they say, talk is cheap. There's a reason for that. Cause everybody can do it. And everybody who has not leveled up yet or is not trying to level up in different areas of their life. That's all they continue to do is talk. Okay. So back to the vision board thing, you can do a paper. You can write a list of what you want to accomplish on a paper. That's your vision board. You can go the more extravagant route and where you go and you get, uh, you get magazines or newspapers and you clip out pictures of what things you want and you paste them to a board and you put it on the wall and you look at that board every day whether it's you scribbling it down on a piece of paper and posting it in your notebook. So you look at it every day or on your door or next to your mirror, or if you make a big giant poster board and put it up for you to see every day, it doesn't matter how you do it. Just make sure you can see it every day. Okay. That's the vision board, but that's a whole topic for later. And I'll, I'll do another video about that another time about vision boards and uh, what they mean and things of that nature. So we'll get into that another time. Um, so I apologize. Yeah. It's vision boards. The next step, you got to think about this when it comes to your dream, the reason you're leveling up your life is it going to change your life. As it sounds redundant, I'm sure it might sound stupid, but you have to really think about that. Is it going to actually change your life? Because if it's not, then what are you doing it for? What's the purpose? If it's not going to change your life, then why are you doing it? 
Hmm? Is it going to bring uh, a change to your family's life? You know, what, what value? Everything, every action you do, everything you do has value to somebody, whether it's you or somebody else. So what is the value you're bringing into yourself or to your family or to your world by leveling up in this way? And you'll see why I ask that in just a moment, because it's something that's going to be very important as we break down you seeing, seeing into, seeing the soul, the core of your dream, of your vision, seeing into that. Okay. So next, next thing we ask that we got that, that first question, will it change your life? Well, yes or no. If it's going to change your life, good. If it's not going to change your life, you need to figure out why you're doing it. What values are bringing in? If it's not bringing any value, why are you wasting your time? Time is the most valuable resource known to man, life, whatever. Okay. So if it doesn't bring value, why are you trading your time for something that does not bring you value? Even playing video games can bring value to your life. It can bring comfort. It can bring calm. It can bring a peace of mind. It can bring relaxation and enjoyment, but it's a value. Okay. Value. But again, we'll talk, we'll get into this, uh, deeper in another, another chat. If you guys have questions, feel free to leave comments, uh, on the videos or in the chat. We'll get to them. We'll, I'll do a small Q and a at the end. If we need to, um, I'll also, I'll come back and read the comments afterwards. So if you guys want to leave comments, feel free for those who look at this later, feel free. And, uh, as, as we're going through, if need be, I can go and do additional videos, uh, different podcasts for breaking those things down. Okay. Breaking those things down. But next part, our next part is going to be, what is it going to cost? What is your vision going to cost you? And I don't mean money. I don't mean, uh, financially, although that is a big part. I don't mean financially. I mean, time, how much time is it going to take for you to, to do this, to make this work, to make this a reality, how much energy is going to cost you? Are you going to have to get up at five in the morning to do X, Y, and Z, you know, are you going to have to um, stay up late doing things, uh, writing proposals or working out or whatever it is that you're trying to do? What's the time and the energy effort that you're going to put into this? Think about that. What is the risk versus the reward? What are you going to lose and what are you going to gain? You got to think about those things, you know? One thing you got to keep in mind is if you got kids, what your kids watching you go after a goal is a rare sight these days. A lot of kids don't get to watch their parents strive and struggle to get to their goal and then see them achieve it and see the joy and see how, what the changes are in that person's life. That is something that is, you can't, money can't buy that. Money cannot buy that. So keep that in mind. Again, another topic for another day, but we're trying to get through this as quickly as we possibly can. I don't want to keep y'all too long. We still got three more steps. All right. So what is it going to cost? Will it change your life? What is it going to cost? Right. And then the final part, is it worth it? Now, again, like I said, I've been talking about that this whole time. Will it change your life? Yes or no? If yes, great. If no, then what are you doing it for? What is it worth it? You know, what's it going to cost you? What's the risk versus reward? Is it worth it? If it's not worth it, then why are you doing it? Why is that your dream? Is it really your dream or is it just something you want to do? Hmm. Think about that. Is it just something you want to do? Cause a dream usually has value to your life. A dream has value to your life. Okay. So you tell me, Tell me in the comments, tell me in the chat, what is it that your dream is? What is it going to be worth to you? What value is it going to bring to your life? All right. What value is it going to bring to your life? All right. So step one, we talked about is what's your power level. Enjoying your figuring out what your power level is. Step two, see your vision. So your vision, step three, 